From a much-awaited James Bond LEGO video game that was never released, to a LEGO Bionicle movie that got cancelled before it could hit the big screen, these are some of the most incredible LEGO items that were never released. Alright, starting off, have you heard about the unreleased LEGO set, 1375 Wrestling Scene? It's this cool Spider-Man set from the studio's theme that never officially hit the market. Rumor has it that there are some prototypes out there. Picture this, 128 pieces, a wrestling ring with bone saw, and Spider-Man sporting his prototype outfit as the Human Spider. And they even threw in a cameraman with the camera. This set is inspired by that epic wrestling scene in the 2002 Spider-Man film by Sam Raimi, aka the original one, where Peter Parker takes on Bonesaw to score some cash for a car and to impress Mary Jane Watson. Here's a throwback for you: the 3868 Phineas and Ferb Lego set from 2012. Originally part of the Lego games theme, remember those? It stood out because it was a licensed set featuring the popular Phineas and Ferb cartoon. It's a one-of-a-kind deal since there are no other Lego sets from that show. Sadly, it never saw the light of day, possibly due to LEGO games wrapping up around the same time. All that said, you can still find instructions for it online. Definitely a relic from the past. Have you ever heard of the unreleased LEGO game set 3867 Maya Mystica? It's a bit of a mystery itself since there's only a blurry image of the box floating around. Set to launch in 2012, right before LEGO games bid farewell. This one might have faced a similar fate as Phineas and Ferb did. It's such a shame as the artwork looks fascinating. And who wouldn't want a LEGO set inspired by Mesoamerican history and culture? LEGO definitely missed out on a golden opportunity there. Alright, so there's this recent LEGO set 40489 Mr. and Mrs. Claus's Living Room from 2021. It was supposed to be a Black Friday Christmas themed freebie, but LEGO dropped it at the last minute, citing it did not meet their strict quality standards. Crazy, right? You can snag it on eBay, but be ready to part with some serious cash. Apparently, there's this Santa's Naughty List tile that might have raised some LEGO eyebrows. You can also try your hand at rebuilding it using instructions shared online by dedicated fans. Who knew Santa's Living Room could be so controversial? Okay, so the 42113 Bell Boeing V22 Osprey is quite the story. This LEGO set had a wild ride. It hit shelves in places like Australia and New Zealand before LEGO slammed the brakes on it. Why? Well, it's a Technic Osprey, and that caused quite a stir. The German peace organization threw shade at LEGO, claiming it broke the no military sets rule. But wait, there's more. Reviews rolled in, and it revealed that this set had serious gear-crunching flaws. LEGO blamed the military angle, but most reviewers smelled a smokescreen, saying the design was just plain wonky. Now, it's a collector's gem on the secondary market, and also a slice of LEGO drama history. Okay, so get this. There's this Lego set, 21038 Las Vegas Skyline, that went through a wild ride. It was all set to drop in January of 2018, depicting the Mandalay Hotel. But then, the tragic 2017 Las Vegas shooting happened, and Lego decided to hit the brakes. They swapped out the Mandalay with the Bellagio, rebranded it as 21047 Las Vegas, and voila! Check out Brick Architect's deep dive for the full scoop. He was able to snag one from South Africa, where they put the canceled sets up for grabs. That's definitely some Lego history right there. Here's a recent Lego City set saga. 60278 Crook's Hideout Raid. Promos teased it, but LEGO nixed it, citing a clash with their brand values. Their official stance? LEGO City's all about fun, positivity, and kid-appropriate stuff. So no giant brick-built dynamite sticks on buildings, please. Kids pretending to be crooks? Not on LEGO's watch. So it got pulled from the lineup. Can't have little builders going rogue with explosive play, right? The struggles of keeping it family-friendly in the LEGO City. Oh, the drama in Legoland. Enter the LEGO Overwatch 2 Titan, slated for 2022. All set to dazzle, it even made it into catalogs. But then, BAM! Activision Blizzard's workplace scandal hit and LEGO hit pause. Why? Well, allegations of harassment in a not-so-great workplace vibe. LEGO took a stand, saying they're reviewing their partnership. No Overwatch 2 LEGO, and it's been radio silence ever since. Want a piece of the cancelled action? eBay's your go-to, of course, but it will cost you. So, back in the LEGO archives, there's this hidden gem, Seatron. It's like the lost sibling of Aquazone. Picture this, a monorail station with a faceplate eerily similar to Aquazone's. The Sea People look a lot like the Stingray faction in Aquazone. The influence might have even touched the Atlantis sets in 2009 to 2010. And those sea creatures, a mashup of Hammerhead Sharks and Eels. Seatron, the Aquazone precursor we never knew we missed. Okay, LEGO had these wild M-Tron sketch models. Multicolored Tron, if you will. Some stuck to the classic red and black, but with an industrial vibe. Then there's this whole different vibe. White with trans dark green canopies and neon jetpacks. Black Tron 2 sketches steal the show. All black and trans yellow, with cockpits at funky angles. It's like something out of 
from Nenen's custom MOC work. Seriously, if you haven't checked out Nenen's stuff, you are missing out. These sketches are like a glimpse into LEGO's alternative universe of colors and shapes. Guess what got lost in LEGO's time vortex? Europa sets. They popped up at Comic-Con in 2009, representing the 18th century. Picture this, a winged Loch Ness monster in the Scottish lineup. How cool would that have been? Rumor has it Russia, other European powers, and fantasy elements were in the mix too. Stafford spilled the beans at Comic-Con, and thanks to Flickr user Bruce NH, we've got glimpses. Europa, the historical Lego extravaganza that never made it to our shelves. A winged Loch Ness monster though? Lego, you missed out. So Lego once toyed with the Roaring Twenties theme. Yachts, fancy parties, and probably some secret speakeasies. But let's be real, the Great Gatsby and Al Capone aren't exactly kitty fair. The firehouse feels like a mini 10197 fire brigade, and that red and white awning? Very unique touch. Maybe not the best fit for kiddos, but there's a dash of the current modular buildings line in there. It's like Lego tried to sneak a bit of the past into the present. A nostalgic sip of the 1920s, even if it didn't make it to shelves. This is the Cybot set. Think Galador, but with a biomechanical twist. Faber's brainchild proposed a world of brick-built helmets in an underground setting around 1995. While it never saw the light of day, Cybots laid the groundwork for Lego's construction themes. Faber, the genius behind Bionicle and Hero Factory, got the ball joints rolling. Yes, I said ball joints. Even though Cybots vanished, its legacy lives on in the joints that make our Lego creations flex and pose. Remember that epic Geonosis Arena scene where Anakin, Obi-Wan, and Padme faced off against the beasts? There were whispers of a Lego set capturing that moment. A prototype of the Ackley and Reek from 2002 surfaced at the 2005 Lego Star Wars weekend, but hold your lightsabers. Sadly, it never hit the shelves. Eurobricks users shared pics, but somewhere along the way, the set got canceled. No Geonosis Arena showdown for our Lego Jedi. Imagine the possibilities. Jedi, clones, and beasts in brick form. Maybe someday the force will bring it back. This is the Serpentine Train. It's like a ninja showdown on rails, but here's the twist. It never made it to our Lego world. Despite having design and box art, this train pulled a disappearing act. The only glimpse we got was in the Ninjago Masters of Spinjitzu TV series. Picture Zane freezing the train with shurikens, ninja battles inside each car, and Sensei Wu doing some train karate. It's like the coolest ninja action you never got to build. Maybe one day, Lego will let the Serpentine train roll into our collections. Remember the city space at 30016 space satellite from 2011? It's like a mini space mission with a satellite, solar panels, and an astronaut with a wrench, ready for cosmic fixes. Sounds cool, right? Here's the catch. It never saw the light of day. Imagine building your own satellite adventures, adjusting solar panels, and launching into space exploration. Sadly, it's one of those Lego sets lost in the intergalactic void. Rock Raider fans, this is the 4959 Loader Dozer. Or maybe not, because it's a Rock Raider set that never saw the light of day. Featured in a 99 UK catalog, it's like a hidden gem we never got to dig up. But wait, is this a typo? Some say it might be, considering there is a similar sounding 4950 loader dozer. Did this actually exist, or was it just a hiccup from the catalog? Either way, this elusive loader dozer sits in Lego's vault, a collector's enigma from the world of Rock Raiders. Ever wish for an Arctic adventure with a Lego snowmobile? Meet the unreleased 6570 snowmobile from the Arctic set. Check this out. An orange snowmobile with a storage box, a minifigure rocking a green arctic parka, and all the snow gear. Ice axe, walkie-talkie, camera, binoculars. Sounds like a winter wonderland, right? But here's the twist. It never hit the shelves solo. You can find it bundled up in the 6520 mobile outpost set. Snowmobile ride, arctic style, a collector's dream dusted with a touch of frosty nostalgia. Okay, Star Wars fans, let's talk about the 75538 Super Battle Droid set. This bad boy was set to drop on August 1st, 2018, as one of the last buildable figures. Picture a dark gray Super Battle Droid in all of its Lego glory. It got listed, but guess what? The release didn't quite make it. So close, yet so far. Imagine the battles you could have staged with this imposing figure. The force just wasn't strong enough to bring it to our shelves. Let's travel back to early 2001, where Lego teamed up with Sapphire fire to cook up a Bionicle video game, The Legend of Mata Nui. Picture the Toa Mata, battling Makuta's evil Rahi on Mata Nui, each Toa on a region-hopping adventure, facing elemental monsters and snagging new Kanohi masks. Sounds epic, right? Sadly, despite the hype, the game got pushed from 2001 to 2002, and then eventually was axed. The PC port and a possible GameCube version also bit the dust. At least we got the original orange Kanohi mask of time, as a Walgreens promo, a small memento from a lost Bionicle adventure. So it turns out a LEGO G James Bond video game almost did actually happen. TT Games teased a test animation with minifigures of Bond, Indiana Jones, and Laura Croft in 2005. They dreamt of a Lego Bond video game, 
But the dark and gritty Casino Royale made LEGO hesitant. The suave spy could not dance with LEGO bricks. A missed opportunity for blocky espionage. We can only imagine the brick-built gadgets and epic missions Bond could have had. Maybe someday, James Bond will get his LEGO debut. Until then, the test animation remains a tease in the LEGO vault. Speaking of things that could have been, there was a glimpse of a LEGO Laura Croft in a test animation by TT Games. Picture Laura, Indiana Jones, and James Bond in one epic crossover. But wait, a standalone LEGO Tomb Raider game? TT Games wasn't feeling it. So they pitched a crossover with Indiana Jones to Lucasfilm, who shut it down, claiming Tomb Raider stole from Indy. LEGO Indiana Jones The Original Adventures happened, but Lara did not get her blocky spotlight. A missed adventure for our favorite Tomb Raider in the LEGO universe. Okay, Roblox aficionados, have you ever heard about the Roblox LEGO deal for a Star Wars The Clone Wars event? It was supposed to hype up the 2012 LEGO sets based on the animated series, but the grand plans were scrapped, and we didn't even notice until years later when 3D artist Steven Job spilled the beans on the unused assets. Imagine Darth Vader and a clone trooper strutting their blocky stuff on Roblox. This event may be a no-show, but these virtual LEGO troopers live on in the digital shadows of the gaming world. Remember the buzz about a DLC covering the Battle of the Five Armies for LEGO The Hobbit? It was all the rage at the London Toy Fair in 2014, promising the drop around the movie's release. But guess what? The DLC never hit the gaming shelves. More than a year later, GameSpot got the scoop. No plans for the DLC. The Battle of the Five Armies would remain unbricked in the LEGO gaming universe. A missed opportunity for Hobbit adventures in block form. The DLC, like a Phantom Quest, vanished into gaming history. All right, Bionicle enthusiasts, let's talk about the mystery of the untitled sequel to Bionicle The Legend Reborn. Back in 2009, Universal Home Entertainment gifted us with a CGI animated Bionicle flick. Fast forward, and whispers of a sequel emerged. Greg Farshti, the series story maestro, dropped a first draft hinting at the plot on BZ Power. The Bionicle community held its breath, eager for more blocky adventures. But sadly, details are as elusive as a Rocky in the shadows. A sequel that teased but never unmasked. The legends remain reborn, but the untold chapter echoes in the Bionicle realm. Do you recall the Billion Brick Race spinoff that Warner Bros. teased? In 2015, they dropped the bomb, with Jason Siegel and Drew Pierce set to co-direct and write the Brick Pack adventure. Plans were soaring high until 2018, when director Jorge R. Gutierrez exited. The project shuffled to Universal Pictures after The Lego Movie 2 faced a box office snag. The Billion Brick dream flickered, but the legacy of Lego Movie spinoffs lives on. Although Gutierrez's vision evaporated, Lego enthusiasts still hope that one day, a Billion Bricks will race onto the silver screen. Chris McKay spilled the beans back in 2018. The Lego Batman movie sequel, Lego Super Friends, was in the works. Excitement soared until 2022 release plans vanished, like the bat signal in daylight. Universal Pictures snagged the film rights, shelving the sequel. Fast forward to 2021, and McKay, along with writers Dan Harmon and Michael Waldron, teased a script exploring Batman's dynamic with the Justice League. Lex Luthor and Omac were set to stir up some blocky trouble. Did you ever spot the 1995 6500 Holiday Village set in those old UK catalogs? It was showcased in the catalogs, but mysteriously never hit the production line. That festive snapshot from 95 remained just that, a snapshot. No sightings, no set in hand. It's like the Lego version of a holiday ghost story. Who knows why it never made it to shelves? But collectors dream of stumbling upon this elusive gem. Imagine a 1979 Lego hospital set sitting pretty in the town set's diorama, only to discover it's the stuff of legends. Back in 7980, collectors scoured stores, hoping to snag it. But here's the twist. It was never released. No set number, no rectangular hospital sign, nothing. If any did escape the factory, they would be collector's gold. In Swedish and Norwegian catalogs, the 1237 set promised a half SO service station, yet it never materialized. The 1236 garage and 1310 SO service station were real, but the 1237, nowhere to be found. It seems LEGO had second thoughts, deeming it redundant. These are LEGO train wheels with 12 spokes instead of the usual 10, featured in 70s idea books, but never seen in the wild. A collector's dream? Maybe. Those 12 spokes Spoke wonders never hit the secondary market, whether hidden treasures or lost to time. The mystery of these unique wheels adds a touch of sadness to LEGO lore. Check out the rare glimpse from the 241 Ideas book, imagining them like a clock face. 12, 3, 6, 9 o'clock, no need to count them all. Remember the LEGO road signs with coming soon from 62 to 65 UK, Ireland, Australia catalogs? No, you don't. None exist. Plans
and by British LEGO LTD's Wrexham Wales plant, these striped signs never made it past the idea stage. Maybe painting those black stripes proved too much for the Brits, yet the catalogs and box designs proudly showcase these phantom signs, a case where reality failed to catch up with LEGO's imaginative promises. Ever heard of the LEGO game set 5004 Story Mixer, set for a 2014 release? Well, it never happened. Plans were drawn, but the cancellation stamp hit before it saw the light of day. The demise? Likely tied to the broader discontinuation of the LEGO games theme. So, in the vast LEGO universe, the Story Mixer remains a tale untold, a set that stayed in the planning stage. Cue the delayed entrance for the 5372 Skeleton Chariot, a castle-themed impulse set meant for 2007, but rolling in fashionably late in 2009. Scheduled for its spotlight, this set was then bundled into the Castle Brickmaster creation book. A Skeleton Chariot and a Skeleton Warrior minifigure were the stars that almost missed their moments. While not released as a standalone, this set had its cameo on LEGO.com in 07, hinting at what could have been in that wave. Intended for release, this set promised a catapult, a crown knight, a barrel, and accessories galore. Unfortunately, it remained in the realm of imagination, leaving us to picture the catapult launching rocks. The crown knight, armed with a dark gray battle axe, shield, and crossbow. Legends and pieces that never graced the hands of eager builders. This one is not your usual Lego set. It was exclusively bundled with a Lego City puzzle from Ravensburger in Germany. It has a 60-piece puzzle, and as you assemble it, you reveal a fire car, complete with a fire fighter minifigure. This unique set even boasts a mini fire extinguisher on the car. It's like Lego meets puzzle solving firefighting action. This is 5996 Raskus, a Knight's Kingdom 2 set that never saw the light of day. Planned for 2005, it packed six pieces, featuring an exclusive Raskus minifigure armed with a shield and a spear. What, what sets, sets this Raskus apart? Smart? Well, it's not the one you've seen before. It's a different knight entirely. Collectors can only imagine the tales that might have unfolded. Meet the 6576 Sledge, an unreleased Arctic set with chilly ambitions. Picture a sled towed by two Arctic minifigures in matching parkas. The sled, equipped with a first aid boxing antenna, was set for polar exploration. Oddly, this set skipped the catalogs and bore a copyright 1998 stamp, even though LEGO Arctic debuted in 2000. With its absence, the red parka hood, unique to the set, remains a frosty mystery, never to grace the icy landscapes of LEGO collectors. Have you ever laid eyes on 6944 Good Guy 07. This set introduced a Matoran of Mari Nui, sporting Axon silver mask and green Borax style arms and legs. With red feet and wielding Lua Nuva's air katana, this Matoran had quite the ensemble. Listed as a promotional set on LEGO.com and claimed to be from 2007 in collector's guides, it's a mysterious piece that hints at an exclusive journey within the LEGO Bionicle universe. Scheduled for a 2005 release in the Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith lineup for Star Wars, this set was one that stayed in the shadows. Though unreleased, it teased Bill builders on lego.com with buildable instructions. Oddly named though, it's not about Wookiees. It's a tank droid from the Battle of Kashyyyk, operated by the CIS. A phantom set in the galaxy far, far away, forever relegated to the archives of the unreleased. This one is like the elusive sibling of the Tarakava sets, but it never stepped out of the prototype stage. Rumors swirl about five prototypes, yet only one, owned by Mark Durham, has surfaced. This set predates the regular Tarakava, crafted as a prototype for its more common counterpart. And there's a twist. A yellow Ruru, the only prototype piece on the Sandy Warrior. A glimpse into Lego history, a set that could have been now residing in the hands of one lucky collector. Imagine Lego Island turning into an educational haven. That was the dream of the Lego Island Learning Project. But sadly, it remains just that, a dream. Initiated during Mark Livingstone's tenure at Lego Media, the project aimed to give Lego Island an educational twist. However, development fizzled out quickly, leaving behind a trail of unanswered questions. Lego Island 2 might have started brewing as this educational venture faded away. It is a reminder that not all Lego dreams become reality. Sometimes, projects are abandoned before they even get a chance to build their bricks. Ever wonder about Lego adventurers in the digital realm? There was a plan for a video game called Lego Adventurers, also known as Lego Dig and Lego Explorers, set in the Adventures Egypt sub-theme. But sadly, it never did see the light of day. Meeting the same fate as LEGO Sea Challenge, the game would have plunged players into the lost city of Ogle. That's LEGO spelled backwards. Oh, look at that. A LEGO Egypt-inspired landscape. Imagine teaming up with the Infomaniac to save Ogle, all within the sandy backdrop of ancient mysteries. While it remained an unexplored adventure, remnants of its existence can still be found in music, 
art, and design documents. Were you one of those people that wanted Bionicle Graphic Novel 10, Power of the Great Beings? Which of course, never made it to the store shelves. Planned for 2010, this graphic novel was set to unravel a part of the Bionicle 2010 storyline, with three exclusive comics in tow. Unfortunately, the cancellation stamp struck due to lackluster sales of its predecessors. Despite its demise, the Power of the Great Beings remains a piece of Bionicle history that never unfolded. And with that, these were some of the most incredible LEGO items that never got released. Which items were your favorite? Was there a specific set that you wish got released? Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments.